Hey, I'm Elsa Ray. I live in a 13-foot scamp trailer with partner Baron and dog camp, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we keep the food in our cooler cold with no ice. There's a couple reasons we don't typically buy ice. We're often parked 20 to 30 minutes outside of any given towns, making ice runs a bit inconvenient. And we also have a very small trash can that we have to dispose of ourselves, so we try not to fill it with a lot of plastic and packaging, saving us trips to run into town just to dump our trash. For this cooler method, you will need your cooler. We've got a little Yeti cooler, a rag large enough to fit over the top of the cooler, water, and some shade with a breeze. The first step is to wet your rag, place it over the cooler opening, leave the lid open, set the rig in the shade with a nice breeze, and let nature do the work. It's like a swamp cooler, and it is really that simple. This method works best in arid climates with low humidity, and I assume it's because there's less water in the air. When water evaporates, it cools down the air inside of the cooler, or whatever the water is evaporating off of, in this case the rag. Since cool air sinks, it gets trapped below the rag into the bottom of the cooler. The evaporative cooling principle is why we sweat. Our body secretes moisture onto our skin and it evaporates off, cooling down the body. A few things to keep in mind. I do not store animal products like meat, eggs, and dairy in my cooler. Temperatures have the potential to be cold enough, but it's not something that I've personally tested out. Err on the side of caution when leaving open coolers outside in the wilderness. There are lots of critters out there who'd be happy to eat your food. At night, we keep the cooler inside with a small USB charged fan to keep the air flowing and the water evaporating. I sure hope this method works for you. It was shared to me by my friends Morgan and David, and I am happy to share it with you all as well. If you want to stay up to date on where we're traveling, what exactly we've got going on in the scamp, follow us on Instagram where we're always posting pictures and videos of our daily lives. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the comments below.